All right, see, we kill a family, so I took all the heating pads out of the welcome box. My cage should be here. Um, it should be here, I think, tomorrow. I got this Merle Boy available. This is the last Merle Boy available. I'm um, looking for a home. Everything else is spoken for besides the raffle puppy. Hey, family. So, um, today's video, man, we got a lot. Make sure you guys watch this video to the end. So, in today's video, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be making mush for the pups. Um, my new cage should be in tomorrow, Wednesday. So, um, I'm going to record again tomorrow so you guys can see the setup and how I'm doing the puppies. I'm not doing the cage that I used to do no more that I've told everybody about. Got something different going on. Uh, so, y'all make sure y'all tune in the whole video. Go follow my new Instagram. That's my new Instagram. After the raffle's over, I'm going to be doing a free cash giveaway. If you haven't already joined the raffle, go join the raffle. Um, I'll talk more about the raffle in a few. Just make sure y'all join the raffle. It's only $25. It's a major opportunity. Um, it was 200 slots total. We're down to 95 slots. So once those 90 slots are gone, 95, we're going to go ahead and pull the names and see who the four winners are, you guys. Make sure y'all tune into the raffle. Um, you can write me on Instagram to join the raffle, or you can text me, either or. You can email me. It don't really matter. Make sure y'all go join the raffle and follow me on Instagram because when I do the cash giveaway, the only way you're going to be in the cash giveaway is if you follow me on Instagram. All right, CB Killer family, I just made it back to the house. Um, I got to go ahead and make that much so, you guys. Um, for me... And the things that I use works for me. You can use whatever you want to use. Go look at other breeders' YouTube channel or the breeders on how they do it. And just take everything into consideration and then make your own step in your own way. But these are the things that I use for um, actually plus the dog food. I'll show you guys the dog food in a minute. Um, but um, for the ones who don't already know, um, I wean my pups at three weeks old. I'm talking about cold turkey. I don't. Let them be on mom. I wean them completely off mom at three weeks old, meaning they will never be on once they officially hit three weeks. Today they officially hit three weeks. They will never be on mom again. Mom's going to the doghouse. She's completely off her now. Um, so first step, you guys, um, follow me, you guys, and show you guys the dog food that I use for my puppies. This is not the dog food that I give the full grown dogs, but I like this. I've been using this it's puppy towel. You can get it from Tractor Supply. This is what I use, you guys. I like it one because. The kibble is real, it's small kibble. Y'all see how small the kibble is? So that's one reason why I use this right here. Um, also, you guys, we're forgetting one step. Most ingredient, goat milk. This is the deworm. I got a deworm because at two weeks old. So, boom, got my dog blender. So, go ahead and put in a little. So, I just started the pro, I just started the, um, the baby oatmeal, this is for probiotics to get them the extra probiotics and stuff like they need because one thing about growing puppies, you want to make sure they got enough probiotics. That's what the milk replacement was for. The milk replacement was for probiotics and like, you know, protein and things like that. That's why we was giving them um, the uh, this right here. That's why we was giving them this because it's got all the probiotics and uh, necessary nutrients, as you guys can see. Minerals, vitamins, nutrients that puppies need. Yes. You cannot just feed them just regular milk. You got to give them nutrients. They need all that thing. All of those things help them to grow and um, get them all everything they need to actually, you know, be healthy. Um, so, uni milk. You can use uni milk, us 24, however you want, you know, whatever you want to use. Anything that's a milk replacer. You can also still use this, but I like this better because this is more tasty for the pup. So, I like to use this. One scoop of that. And we're gonna top it off with some goat milk. Good old goat milk. That don't smell good. Good old goat milk. Mix them up. Try to make sure you make it as soupy as possible as liquidy as possible because the thicker you make it, you want to thicken it up the older they get. So when they hit about five weeks, that's when you want to make it really thick. Personally, me personally, when my dogs are by the age of six weeks, they're on hard food. I have my pups by the age of five, six weeks on hard food. So the next like three weeks, they'll be on this, but this is too thick for me. So 
I'm gonna make it a little bit softer by adding a little bit more goat milk. Cause that's a little too thick. I don't want it that thick. So I'll make it a little bit more softer. You wanna make it really soupy. That way it's easy for them to eat. Hey, sorry. Then you guys, listen, I, I get a lot of people asking me like, hey, Don, is Don good for this? Is Don good for that? Is Don good for this? You guys, you don't, you're not supposed to give Don to full grown dogs. Any dog that's fully grown, eight months, nine months, 10 months, 12, two years old, they're not supposed to be eating Don, you guys. Don, people be like, oh, um, people be like, oh, Don, just give them extra vitamins. I mean, you can do it however you want to do it, me personally. I feel like dying make your dog have watery stool. So me personally, I'm not just gonna give my dogs, my older dogs, dying to give it to them, because they want, because they, they don't want to eat. Some people do it because they don't want to eat. Some people do it because they feel like it gives them more weight. Some people do it because they feel like it gives them more muscle. None of that shit is accurate. Your dog gonna have muscle and gonna be thick. That's just gonna be natural. That's gonna come in their DNA to be natural and thick. Dying ain't gonna do nothing but make your dog have a watery stool. That's all it is. But what we want to use it for the pups is because it's like a, it's like liquid candy to them. So. It, it, it makes them, you know what I'm saying, they like it because it's sweet. Cool, let me, um, I like to clean this when I'm done, man, because I'm not going to lie. When this get hard, it's hard to come out of there. All right, let's see what I see in that. Just turn. All right, you guys. So, gonna top it off with some dye. And I'm just being honest with y'all. And take this for a guy that got 25, 30 litters on his belt. Yes, I have been breeding for about three years. So I got 25, 30, 40 litters on my belt. So. What I find out work best is to um, let me see, sprinkle it. But what I find to work best, you guys, to me, is that I do not let them eat off mom anymore once you give them this. Because I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be hard. First couple of days you try this, it's going to be hard. They're not going to want to eat it. They're not going to want to like get into it. But once their stomach go to crowd and they get hungry, trust me, they will get into it, you guys. Boom, that's how I make my mush over at CB Kennels for my pups. Um, that's how I start weaning my three week old puppies. So at this point, they will never be going back on mom. They are officially on mush. And the reason why I went with a, some people are gonna be like, why you went with a smaller pan? Because they're puppies. So I don't want them to have to be. I try as much as possible to keep them clean, but when they on this mush, when they on, when they, when they weaning and then weaning stage, it's gonna be hard to keep them clean, I'm just letting you guys know. So don't be afraid if they get mush all over their face and their stomach and their arms, it's gonna happen. It's just like babies eating uh, baby food for the first time. They're gonna get dirty. Um, but I try to make it easier for them when they're eating. Try to make it easier that they don't get it, you know what I'm saying? So they ain't gotta be trying to lean over into this big old tall bowl. Perfect. Let's go. Let me just put a little bit more dye over the top, just around the edge, just so they taste it. Let's get it. All right, you guys, this is my first time trying the mush. So let's see how this go. Y'all ready to eat? I know, I know, I know, I know, you guys, I know. Got y'all something to eat. And the guys, I made sure you're hungry. So I have not. Right now, it's currently about 10 o'clock. I was supposed to feed them about an hour ago. But I let them go a little bit longer just so they can get hungry and want to eat. Mush. All right, guys. So real quick, before I even start them on mush, um, I am doing a puppy raffle. Puppy raffle is selling out pretty quick. I have... 95 slots left only 95 slots left 
This is the boy that's getting raffled off. This boy right here is the boy that's getting raffled off. Wait, y'all, wait. So if you haven't already gotten your ticket, $25 a ticket. $25 a ticket. Um, you can contact me. My phone number will be right there. My new backup Instagram because my Instagram, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting it back because... Well, we'll see. I don't know, but my new Instagram there, my email, cbcomesai.com. Also, you guys, my phone number again, like I just told you guys, $20 a ticket. There's four prizes. First prize is this boy. Second prize is a juice stud credit. Yes. My micro bully juice. Hey, the king of the yard, juice stud credit. Third prize is going to be 400 cash dollars. Um, fourth prize is going to be 250 cash dollars. Also, you guys, make sure y'all go follow my Instagram because after the raffle, I'm going to be doing a free cash giveaway. I'm more than likely going to be doing two winners, $500 a piece. So the way, that, how do you enter? Just go follow my Instagram. Not the raffle. That's the cash giveaway. Go follow my Instagram to be in the cash giveaway after the raffle. But if you want to get a raffle to win one of these four prizes, including this boy, yes, he does come with full breeding rights. He come with AKC paperwork and you, uh, health certificates. Yes, he does. So you could possibly make the sky's the limit off this boy if you know what you're doing. And of course, you know what I'm saying, you're going to have one of my pups that I produce, so I'm going to tap in with you and check in on them and, and give me some advice to help you out with them. Um, quality Frenchie right here. The dad is four times Grinch. That's the dad right there. I just dropped him for the ones who want to know what the dad is like. He is four times Grinch, bro. Um, certified Grinch. Um, tap in, you guys. Go get your raffle ticket now. 25 bucks. Um, seven tickets max. Let's go. I'm down with you guys. It's going to be hard. Eat that much. Eat that much. Eat that much. Eat that much. Yes, sir. Eat that much. 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 Oh, also, by the way, you guys, all pups are, all of the pups are sold except the raffle puppy. And that one male Merle is available. No, not this boy. Actually, the one I was eating. This male boy right here is available. I'm asking um 7K for him, but I will take. I take six. Put it like that. I'll take six. Um, if somebody really want to get him, I'll take six. But I'm not going no lower than six for that boy. That's, these are quality dogs. Yes, sir. They getting that much. Yes, sir. Why y'all eating the mush off each other? Eat the mush from out the bowl. Son, you gotta come get in the mush. Wanna sit there and cry? Come get in the mush, son. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get in that mush. There you go. Get in that mush. Uh, you right there and get in that mush. There you go. Uh, get in that mush. There you go, get in that mush. There you go. Get in that mush, y'all. Man, I'm so, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, so this is my second Frenchie litter, man. And I, I'm not going to lie, man. I love the Frenchies, man. They're beautiful, nice dogs. Nice uh, dogs to be pets. Why, big? Stop it. Nice dogs to be pets. Um, they're amazing dogs, man. Get the mush. We're not, we're not eating off mama no more. See, y'all better figure this thing out. <laughs> mommy is gone. No more mommy, so y'all better figure it out. Mommy is gone. Why did I just add goat milk for the ones who's gonna ask to make it even more soupier? Make it even softer for them. Cause I'm about to add some more dyes so they can keep in it. 
I don't know why they rather eat each other instead of eating the mush. So I like to put it around the border. What? Come on, dude. Y'all better eat the mush. You not gonna eat? So what I like to do, you guys, is each and every individual one, I like to make sure I put them in that mush and they're eating that mush. Because, I mean, you got to think about it. This is their first time getting weaned. They got to eat. I got to make sure they're eating. And I'm not worried about them getting all the nutrients because you guys know I put everything in there um, for them to make sure they get all the nutrients. So I'll probably do this for another, like, 30 minutes. Hold them over the mush. Make sure they eat the mush. Him, he good. That boy, I don't got all him. He said he know what time it is. He know how to get in there. Put their paws in it. Sometimes it's better to put their paws in it. Like him. Like I told you guys, it's gonna get dirty. <laughs> They're gonna get dirty. Don't be scared of them getting dirty, man. They're going to get dirty. He'd rather lick it off himself than to lick it out the bowl. Come on, man. Why you licking it off yourself? Lick it out the bowl. You, lick it out the bowl. All right, so like I told you guys, man, that's it. Like, that's it. They're not going. They're, they're fishy off mom. That's it. The mush. And I'm down with you guys. This is actually pretty good for their first time being introduced to mush. This is great because, you know, from my previous litters, I've had dogs who would look at it and they are not. Like, it, I've had litters where it got to a point where I caved. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I got worried because they weren't eating, period. But they're doing pretty good. But that's why I've, that's why you want to try different formulas to use when it comes to making mush. Because pups like that's why my, that's why I like my formula. I, sometimes I use water, but most of the time I use goat milk because you want to give them all the ingredients they're gonna. What <laughs> you want to give them all the ingredients that they're gonna like. That's gonna make them want to eat it. Um, but um, we'll go ahead and watch them for a little bit longer. But um, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Like I told you guys, go follow the Instagram after the raffle. I'm gonna do a free cash giveaway. Um, also, join the raffle to win one of the. Four prizes. It's only twenty five dollars to join, man. Like twenty five dollars, you guys. Even if you only get one ticket, get one. Don't miss out. Text me to get a ticket. Um, listen, you guys. When I post my number on YouTube, it's not people to be texting me, trying to talk to me, just to converse with me. No. If you've did business with me in the past, or you're doing business with me currently, a stud fee, bought a puppy. They have the luxury to be able to call my phone and text me and talk to me. You, my phone number is not on YouTube just for people to be calling me just to talk to me. No. I got 300 some free YouTube videos for people to go back and refer to to go watch. That's just like when I had my old Instagram. People was hit me up just to ask questions. Go watch the YouTube videos. My number on YouTube is for people who want to do business with me. Who want to buy this extra puppy that I got left. Who want to join the raffle. That's what it's for. But um, watch these puppies. I'll catch y'all in a little bit.